You're watching WITI Milwaukee. When it matters to you, it matters to us. Fox 6 News, because you matter. Fox 6 News at 9 starts right now. A Packers victory is overshadowed by the loss of one of the team's star players, putting the spotlight once again on violence in football. A hush fell over Lambeau after a crushing collision. Night knocked out tight end Jermichael Finley, took him out of the game. The team says he suffered a neck injury. Pip is here with more details now in the Blitz. What's the latest, Pip? Well, Mary, thank you, and Mike, and hi again, everybody. This afternoon's 31-13 win over the Browns was impressive in large part because of all the key players lost to injury this season. Jermichael Finley, he's already suffered a concussion this fall, went down after that hard hit with what the team is calling tonight a neck injury. He does have feeling in all his extremities. The pack wearing their throwback uniforms from 1929. Jermichael with a tremendous effort here to score from 10 yards out. Seven to nothing. One of three TD tosses by Aaron Rodgers. He threw for 260 yards without all his weapons. How about Eddie Lacy bulling his way for 82 yards for the suddenly tough, salty pack? 14 to nothing. Green Bay scoring on their first two red zone possessions. They were an 0 for 6 kid. 17 6, fourth quarter. Here comes that hit. Finley takes it to the head, and this is a chilling sight. Number 88 eventually take it out on a stretcher. Again, the latest we have, he suffered a neck injury, thankfully. Jermichael had feeling in all his extremities. So no Finley and no Cobb and no James Jones, but Jordy Nelson was there for a key touchdown to up the lead to 24-6. The story this afternoon, though, Jarrett Boykin pressed into duty. Eight catches, 103 yards, and here's his first NFL touchdown. Mike McCarthy's 4-2 first place. Packers win 31-13, 10 in a row at Lambeau, 23-24. Heeding the coach's call, they keep calm, as does Tim Van Boren. Mike McCarthy's desire to have his guys keep calm and care.